good afternoon all in the last class we have seen the fertilization changes how it takes place in angiosperms and the process of joining male and female gamete is fertilization and uh, after the fertilization and then fertilization can be divided into two stages syngamy and triple fusion one of the main nucleus join with the egg cell that process is called uh, syngamy resulting in diploid zygote and the uh, second male nucleus joins with the uh, secondary nucleus which is diploid and joining of second male nucleus with the secondary nucleus is called triple fusion and uh, resulting in triploid primary endosperm nucleus which later develops into endosperm so the syngamy and triple fusion are together called double fertilization which is a unique process in angiosperm we have seen up to that then see the uh, what third stage of fertilization so pre fertilization changes fertilization changes are over then comes to the third part of reproduction sexual reproduction called as post fertilization changes so today we can discuss the post fertilization changes how that takes place in angiosperms so the changes after fertilization is called as post fertilization changes changes taking place after the fertilization is called a post fertilization changes and before that what are the products of fertilization see the we have two products for fertilization see the most important product is zygote zygote is the most important product of fertilization that is diploid zygote then another product is primary endosperm nucleus triploid primary endosperm nucleus is another product of triple fusion so fertilization result in the formation of diploid zygote and triploid primary endosperm nucleus and the antipodes may disappear cytogenes may also disappear after fertilization see what happens to the process what happens to the structures after fertilization you see remember that this is the gynecium and uh, this is the fertilized ovule and inside there is the zygote and primary endosperm nucleus and uh, you study that the first year the this is the ovary and this ovary develops into fruit after fertilization and this is the ovule ovule develop into seed after fertilization so usually the ovary develops into fruit the ovule develop into seed and after fertilization the stigma Tail, etc., will disappear, and this ovary develops into fruit. You have seen that such fruits are called true fruits. We study the classification of fruits in the first year. So fruits are developing after fertilization. The fruits which are developed after fertilization is called a uh, true fruits. Or developing from ovary is called a true fruit. And usually fruits are developing after fertilization. And the fruits are developing without fertilization. Such fruits are called a parthenocarpic fruits. Like we have seen the first year. So ovary develops into fruit. And this ovule develops into seed. See, this integument becomes seed covering testa tegment, and this will develop into seed. This structure develops into seed after fertilization. And see how the seed develops. Or what happens after? So remember that ovary develops into fruit and the ovule develops into seed. This ovule develops into seed after fertilization. And see how the what process takes place after fertilization in the ovule. This zygote develops into embryo. See, zygote develops into embryo, and this. primary endosperm nucleus develop into endosperm see zygote develops into embryo and primary endosperm nucleus develop into 
endosperm. See, this embryo develops into a plant, future plant. And this endosperm is the nutritive tissue or tissue storing food material for the growing zygote. Zygote embryo or zygote requires growing zygote or embryo requires food material because the growth requires food material. Zygote develops into embryo. In the first year we have seen that the growth have three stages in phase of cell division, cell enlargement and cell differentiation. So anyhow, growth requires food material. So this zygote grows to embryo which requires large amount of food material. So that food is supplied by the endosperm. So this primary endosperm nucleus develops into endosperm and this zygote develops into embryo after fertilization. So what are the post fertilization changes? You can answer very simply like that. After fertilization, zygote develops into embryo and primary endosperm nucleus develop into endosperm which is the triploid tissue. This endosperm store food for the growing embryo. So you can see how the zygote develops into embryo and primary endosperm nucleus develops into endosperm. And of the two process, you have two process, of the two process, the development of endosperm takes place firstly. See, you remember that zygote will not divide. Development of endosperm takes place firstly. Firstly, the primary endosperm nucleus divides and develops into endosperm. Only after the development of endosperm, the zygote divides. Because the zygote has to ensure the availability of food material because without food material zygote cannot divide so first of all the endosperm or nutritive tissue develops the tissue which store food material firstly develops so first of all you can see how the primary endosperm nucleus develops into endosperm so firstly the primary endosperm nucleus divides and form a full tissue inside that so this full tissue is called endosperm. So this kind of endosperm store store large amount of food material. So firstly the development of endosperm takes place then after development of zygote takes place after that. So you can see how the development of endosperm takes place in angiosperms. See the development of endosperm changes from organism to organism to plant which is different. In most of the angiosperm, the development of endosperm takes place mainly by two methods. In the first method, you see, I am representing the cygote here, because cygote, then comes to the primary endosperm nucleus firstly the primary endosperm nucleus divides by mitosis because this is triploid endosperm is a triploid tissue see endosperm is a triploid tissue so this divides into two then divides into four like that nucleus divides first of all nucleus divides into many nuclei by mitosis then after that, so they remain in common cytoplasm. Then after completing the division of nucleus, cell wall formation takes place around each nuclei. See, cell wall formation takes place around each nuclei. Then it becomes full cellular type. So, first of all, in some of the angiosperms, the nucleus divides. Then after complete the division of, division of nucleus, cell wall formation takes place. This is a type of uh, endosperm development in angiosperm. So first nucleus divides completely, then you know division of nucleus is called as karyokinesis. Cytoplasm will not divide, cell wall formation will not take place. After the completing the division of nucleus, then after cell wall formation takes place. This kind of development is called cellular type of endosperm. See, this type of development is called 
nuclear type of endosperm development. See, endosperm development is called a nuclear type. First of all, nucleus divides, then cytoplasm divides. This is the most common case in angiosperms. And in some other cases, in some other plants, this is somewhat different, not like this. See, in many angiosperms, the development of endosperm is different. The new primary endosperm nucleus firstly divides into two. Then after the karyokinesis, after the division of nucleus, two daughter nuclei are produced. They are separated by cell wall formation. Then two cells are written, then divides into like that. Again cell wall formation takes place. This also divides. Again cell wall formation takes place. This device, like that, each cytokinesis is followed by cytokinesis. See, cell wall formation or nuclear division and cytoplasmic division takes place simultaneously. So, in most of the angiosperms, this is the method. In some other angiosperms, the cell endosperm development takes place by this method. That is, here the nuclear division. Nucleus divides, then cytoplasm divides, then nucleus divides, then cytoplasm divides. Each karyokinesis, division of nucleus, is followed by division of protoplasm or cell wall formation. So, anyhow, here the, this type of development of endosperm is called as cellular type of endosperm development. This is called nuclear type of endosperm development. This is called cellular type of endosperm development. In the nuclear type of endosperm development, the first of all, division of nucleus is completing. After the division of, um, completion of the nuclear division, cytoplasm that division takes place or cell wall formation takes place. But this type of cellular development, each nuclear division is followed by the formation of Cytoplasm cell wall or division of cytoplasm takes place after the each nuclear division. So this is called a nu nuclear type. This is called cellular type. Here cell formation, cell wall formation takes place simultaneously with the nuclear division. So this is called say, nuclear type of endosperm development. This is called cellular type of endosperm development. Examples are given in the notebook and examples are given. Then another type is there. Phenomenal type of endosperm development. That is a question you should ask before me. The examination and other entrance examination. Examples are important. So endosperm development takes place. Anyhow, finally, all are similar. Anyhow, whether the method may be this one or may be this one, the uh, finally it will become cellular in both cases. And in coconut, the endosperm is very important. It is liquid endosperm. You may remember in the tender coconut, in tender coconut, the endosperm development is somewhat different because the tender coconut contains coconut water and this coconut water is the liquid endosperm which contains suspended nucleus. See, tender coconut, the endosperm is liquid and that is, the, you can stand like a water, coconut water is there, that contains numerous suspended nuclei and after attaining, when the coconut becomes mature, the formation, uh, uh, this endosperm becomes thick like that. This endosperm becomes, this completely disappears and becomes, the thickness increases and becomes cellular and like this endosperm, this is the endosperm in coconut, this white part we are using as food, that is endosperm. So, in the initial stages in coconut, the endosperm is liquid. When the coconut mature, the endosperm becomes cellular type, cellular endosperm is that. So, anyhow, the endosperm development takes place firstly up to that cygote is dormant. Questions can be asked like that. The uh, cygote remains dormant during the development for some time. Why the cygote remains dormant? Dormant means why the cygote remains dormant? Dormant means the sleeping condition. Cygote will not divide for some time. Cygote will wait the, till the development of endosperm. Why the cygote remains dormant in the, uh, in the ovule during that growth of post fertilization in dangers? Because the cygote remains dormant. Cygote will not divide soon. Cygote remain till the development of endosperm 
and after the development of endosperm zygote began to divide zygote to start to divide because zygote cannot divide till without availability of without some material so it uh, wait uh, till the development of endosperm to ensure the availability of food material so first is that why the zygote is remaining dormant why the zygote is not dividing the answer is that the zygote will wait up to the development of endosperm to ensure the availability of food material so i think that it is clear for you so the two stages we have to study first of all development of endosperm then development of embryo zygote divides into embryo so development of endosperm what is endosperm endosperm is the tissue which store food material for the growing embryo it is triploid primary endosperm nucleus develops into endosperm and there are two types of endosperm development one is called cell nuclear type of endosperm development other is called cellular type of endosperm development in the nuclear type of endosperm this condition takes place in the cellular type of endosperm development this process takes place finally the both become cellular and there is no difference between the two in some some plants it is cellular type some other part it is nuclear type so anyhow by the development of endosperm this complete part is filled by endosperm and there are two types of seeds are there the first year you study there are some of the seeds contain endosperm and some other seeds does not contain endosperm and we have seen that in the first year the development of endosperm takes place in some plants the seeds does not contain endosperm such a seeds are called non endosperm seed non endosperm seed in plants like beans or castor or pea plant or tamarind like plant or groundnut like plants the seeds does not contain endosperm and such seeds without endosperm are called non endosperm seed but in most of the monocots the seeds are called endosperm seed seeds are called endosperm seed in most of the monocots or that may be rice or wheat or coconut like the plants are the raw maize the seeds contain endosperm so seeds which contain endosperm are called endosperm seed in the first year we have seen non endosperm seed most of the dicot seeds are non endosperm there is no endosperm because the growing embryo completely eats the endosperm so that mature seed will not contain endosperm such seeds are called seeds without endosperm are called non endosperm or exalbuminous seed we have seen the first year and in the some monocots most of the monocots the seeds contain endosperm such because the endosperm grow along with the embryo the embryo cannot eat the endosperm completely so the seeds contain in the monocot plants mostly in rice wheat etc the endosperm growing continuously so that the embryo cannot consume the endosperm completely so the seeds contain seeds at the maturity and they endosperm such as seeds are called endosperm seed or albuminous seed see non endosperm seeds are otherwise called exalbuminous and endosperm seeds are called albuminous seed dicot seeds are mostly non endosperm monocot seeds are mostly endosperm wheat barley etc the cotton you see that the endosperm store food material the endosperm may contain food material that may differ from plant to plant in rice it is starch in wheat it is uh, protein in cotton it is lipid or oil so that may differ from plant endosperm contain food material that may be rice sorry that may be starch or may be protein or may be oil or lipid that may vary from organism to organism so most of the if, if there is no dicot seed they just don't contain endosperm so where is the story in food in such seeds if there is no endosperm the food is stored in the cotyledon as we seen the first year if the endosperm is present the food is stored in the endosperm if there is no endosperm so in most of the monocot seed the food is stored in the endosperm endosperm is present so if there is no no endosperm in dicot seed if there is no endosperm there is no endosperm food will be stored in the cotyledon 
So in dicot plants, cornered is somewhat larger. You can see the structure later on. So anyhow, there are two types of seed based on the storage of presence or absence of endosperm, endosperm seed and the non-endosperm seed, albuminous seed or exalbuminous, exalbuminous or albuminous. Albuminous is storage of protein. We study the structure of protein, function of protein, etc. So this is the endosperm and non-endosperm seed. So there are two types of seed. Endosperm and non-endosperm that you see in the first year. So that is the developed character of endosperm. Endosperm may be cellular or nuclear type. Endosperm may be present or not. See anyhow, then what happens to the cyborg? See what happens to cyborg? We can see the development of cyborg. We can see what happens inside. See. Then the part is completely filled by the endosperm. So the one that is the endosperm. The tissue is fully developed. Endosperm is present. The endosperm. And here is the cyborg. The cyborg start to divide. Cyborg is having like this. Cyborg start to divide. Cyborg firstly divide by mitosis. There is a doubt whether it is divided by meiosis or mitosis. All the answer is given in the first chapter. Cyborg divided by mitosis or meiosis. In haploid organism like alga, cyborg divided by meiosis because organism is haploid. We are discussing the sexual reproduction in angiosperms or higher plants. Higher plants are deployed. Diplon, diplon, cycle. We studied that. So, in higher plants or angiosperms, the cyborg divide by mitosis. You know that by mitosis, one parent cell divides into two daughter cells. So, first of all, divides into two like that. Then, divides into a representing outside. Or again, once again, a person like that. Cyborg divides again by mitosis into a chain of cells divided by mitosis into a chain of cells. This chain of cell is called pro-embryo. This chain of cell is called pro-embryo. It divides by mitosis two or three times and getting a chain of cell. This chain of cell is called a pro-embryo. Of the pro-embryo, so I represent the four cells. Of the chain of cells, the lower cells destroy, the, these cells will destroy and the tip cell functions. See, of the chain of cell, the first, these cells will destroy and the remaining one cell functions as embryo proper. This becomes the last cell, the tip cell becomes Embryo does not destroy, it will not divide. The connection is there. Yes. The tip cell, the remaining cells remain there. The tip cell divide and develops into embryo proper. The basal cell or the remaining cell act as the suspensor. See? The cells act as suspensor and pushes the embryo into the endosperm. So, of the chain of cells, the tip cell divide in various planes. See, I represent that. The tip cell, I am representing this out of that. This remaining cells, the tip cell divide and form a globular embryo. See, the tip cell divide in various planes and develops into Globular embryo, which is called globular embryo. Globular embryo. See, the tip cell, this cell develops into globular embryo by dividing various planes. So it becomes globular in appearance, and the, this cell acts as suspensor. The remaining cells are called a suspensor. This suspensor 
push the embryo into the endosperm. So the endosperm is an embryo is growing. So embryo from this point reaches to this point. So suspends are push the embryo into the endosperm for absorbing food material. So this is called a globular embryo. First stage is called no embryo. Second stage is called globular embryo. After some time, the embryo attains another shape called heart-shaped embryo. See, the embryo becomes heart-shaped or horseshoe-shaped embryo. See, the embryo becomes heart-shaped or like this. This is called heart-shaped embryo or horseshoe-shaped embryo. Then finally, it develops into a mature embryo. Develops into a mature embryo like this. It develops into a mature embryo. We are discussing with the mostly dicot and monocot have same type of cell division. Development of embryo. But the structure is different. It develops into a mature embryo like this. Develops into cellular completely matured embryo like this. So development of embryo takes place like that. And here this is a matured embryo. This is the heart shaped embryo. Heart shaped embryo. This is the mature embryo. Mature embryo. So this is the Four stages are there for doing the, for the development of embryo. First of all, the zygote divides by transverse wall, cross wall into a chain of cells called as pro embryo. First stage is the pro embryo. The tip cell divides in various planes in different manners by mitosis, develop into a globular embryo. The cells back cells. Act as the suspensor. This part is called suspensor. It pushes the embryo into the endosperm, and the globular embryo then changes into third one called heart-shaped embryo during the growth, and the heart-shaped embryo changes into mature embryo. So there are four stages. First is the pro-embryo, globular embryo. Third one is the heart-shaped embryo, and fourth one is the mature embryo. I will draw the mature embryo separately. See, dicot and monocot have same pattern structure of embryo. Finally, it shows certain differences. Anyhow, I will raise once again the zygote divides into pro embryo, globular embryo, heart-shaped embryo, embryo proper. The cells, remaining cells are acting as the suspensor which push the embryo into the endosperm for absorbing food material. Finally, when the development uh, complete, when monocot is completed, the embryo reaches at this point. See, when the 